Do you see God as a cleaner in your life so that you can sin tomorrow? Or do you see God as a leader to guide your life so that you can be a warrior? This video will help you understand that God's not supposed to just have an all-purpose cleaner and a wet wipe, but to get you on the right track so that you can learn to fight with this battle plan. Now, God will surely clean up all your sins, but the problem is that people want him to do that for the rest of their life. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. You see how the Bible emphasizes whole or full armor of God. Not just the helmet, not just the arm plate, no, 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 no. But that you may withstand in the evil day and, ha uh, and having done all to stand firm. Because when you have the full armor of God, you're not contemplating anything. But that you're firm, that evil won't mess with you because you're focused on God. 100%. I've gone over in a previous video on focusing on God alone and how that really impacts your relationship with God uh, as a whole. This video right here will go ahead and let you know uh, what you need to know about focusing on Him rather than the sin itself. Anyway, the Lord wants you to line up to the Word of God and not standing at the edge. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Well, because Satan can't mess with you, if you're so firm and planted in what you believe in, that you don't pay any mind to him. If this scripture is true about submitting to the Lord and resisting evil, then we can both agree that sinning wasn't meant to be something for the rest of your life. As it says in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short to the, of the glory of God. Yes, definitely, and I sure have, but thanks to God's forgiveness and the beauty of completely changing your life around. But we tend to limit what God can do because we want to remove problems on our own, but then saying God was involved. I want people to be set free from all their bondages that they put themselves in. They have life-changing moments in certain areas, but instead of that, let's just have our life changed, meaning it's done. No more fixing, no more nah. I'm not gonna be one of those preachers that just says, you know, oh, you sinned again, okay, whatever. Oh, you sinned again, that's fine, he forgave it. Oh, you sinned again, oh, that's fine, he forgave it. That's not, okay, he, oh, yeah, nah. doing it for forever. Four years later, oh, he still, uh, he forgave, yeah, there you go. Did you happen to give your life to Jesus Christ? Okay, you're fine, yeah, go ahead and continue. No, because that's abusing the cross. God has forgiven us of our sins, but the moment where you let your mind read into that is usually where problems start. Or you can say, I accept Jesus so that no one can take that away from me, no matter what you say. You're right, no one can except you yourself. Sin is death. It brings nothing to Jesus. We're supposed to set an example and be life on earth as it is in heaven. You can't speak death, live life. Those things do not work together. You need one side, but you want the other side. It's like you're on a team in a game, but you're just standing there saying you're participating. But just being there does not mean anything. Christians do this all the time. I'm a Christian, but I'm gonna go to a party real quick. I'm gonna go cuss one more time. He just hit my car. I'm gonna go watch this movie. I know God won't like it, but that's why he's not watching it. I am. Are you on the blue team? Are you on the red team? You can't be in the middle in purple mixed colors. Lukewarms stay in this middle region and that's why nothing gets done. That moment where you allow God to guide your life is where all your paths are made straight. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. We need to be led by truth and not people's beliefs. Not the most popular belief, but the one who actually lived by what we need to be. For you are my rock and my fortress, and your name's sake, you lead me and guide me. Now, if you say I am forgiven and you just sinned five seconds ago, then do you know what really die to self means? How are you alive but dead at the same time? New creation, you can't live as a new being, living as an old being in some parts. It just contradicts everything. It's not a bonus to fulfill God's the way he wants you to be. It's not a bonus to be that way. It's not a bonus to live a unsinful life. You want all of Jesus or you want some of Jesus? It seems like some is the easiest part to grab for people. Now, me and my mom were talking and it, she made a pretty good example. So if you gave $50 to a spoiled rich kid, he's not gonna be like, oh, that's amazing or anything because he's got a lot of money, he's spoiled. Or if you give $50 to a poor child, he's very thankful and blessed that you gave that to him. Those snobby Christians that just you see the cross and just abuse it and not really appreciate it or take it in as what it truly is. Then the genuine believers who are actually thankful for what he did, they see it as a chance to live like him. And from that moment, you are forgiven. Jesus cleaned up your sins. Perfect. 
Now it's your turn to be just like him. I hope this helped you understand what the cross really means and it means life and not uh, living half and half or 90 and 10% or 99% and 1%. Let God guide your life and fixing what needs to be out and you know, for him to take up your bondages and your anxieties and everything uh, that doesn't need to be there. Like this video to support the channel and subscribe so you don't miss any other preachings just like this one. If you want to learn more about forgiveness and the power of Jesus forgiving you and you forgiving others and how forgiveness actually can change your DNA physically, uh, that it can actually cure cancer and illnesses and all kinds of amazing things. This video right here will go ahead and teach you exactly that. And like I said, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And I hope to see you in that video in just a little bit. Messenger out.